For all those who can't ever get enough Halloween, how about some Smashing Pumpkins? No, not the band. Yes, please. Not the band. This is li <laughs> we're literally Smashing Pumpkins. Head to the Lakeshore Museum Center tomorrow in Muskegon from 5.30 to 6.30. Museum staff are going to help with some painting of the pumpkins, pumpkin-themed activities, and then they're going to fling some gourds with those trebuchet. They got one trebuchet. They're going to just, you can see it right there. There you go. The they're going to whip those Fun pumpkins. times. Now, you can buy a pumpkin. You can vote on staff pumpkins, actually, with donations to support the museum. So it's kind of a fundraiser too. And this is all free if you live in Muskegon County and five bucks for non-residents. Well, if you're looking for some unique one-of-a-kind pieces, head to Art at the Yard from five to eight Saturday at D. Baker and Sons Lumber in Grand Haven. Now this long-standing art event brings together artists and patrons all to raise money for the Grand Haven Schools Foundation and initiatives that increase school readiness and promote student success. You can find pottery, painting, sculpture, glass, jewelry, and more, plus live music, Crepes by the lake, yes please, and mm. a cash bar. There is a $10 suggested donation at the door. 10% of all the artist sales go to the school foundation. Now, this event is put on by the Lakeshore Visual Arts Collective. Now, it is in an open-air lumber yard, so make sure you dress for the weather. It'll yeah, be a little chilly out gonna there. going to be a little bit, yeah. yeah. Hey, this Saturday, speaking of, you got another event. This one's at East Kentwood High School. Come experience community with interactive performances, visual art, food, conversation. It all starts at 5 o'clock with events for the whole family, informational booths, interactive drum and dance sessions, and instrument discovery. Then at 7 o'clock, you got a concert of spoken word, drama, dance, and music, all followed by a discussion around community safety right around 8 o'clock. There'll be food trucks in the parking lot from 5 to 7 as well. Everyone around the area invited to this free event. Well, access to dance, music, theater, and the visual arts makes any city a better place to be. And Larry Bell, founder of Bell's Brewery, recognizes that. He donated $250,000 to Wellspring and the Corey Terry Dancers as they launched their 42nd season. Bell says investing in this thriving modern dance company will make Kalamazoo a better place to live and attract and retain great employees. So far, Wellspring and the Corey Terry Dancers have raised nearly $316,000 toward their $500,000 goal. Season tickets for this year go on sale Saturday. Hey, if you got a fireplace or maybe a fire pit, uh, this is something you kind of want to pay attention to. The city of Grand Rapids wants you to start a fire. The Forestry Division is hosting a log giveaway <laughs> on November 5th from 7:30 to 4:30 at the City Yard Waste drop-off site. This is a kind of a win-win deal. This is all to help them get rid of the trees that have fallen or were removed because of damage or disease. The logs are about eight feet high. Yeah, they're big. Yeah, and a foot in diameter. So bring your truck. All right, bring a big, a big truck or a flatbed. And you can take as many as you want. As I mentioned, it's a win-win. You get the firewood, and the city saves about $20,000 in disposal costs. There you go. Fires all winter long. <laughs> and you didn't pay a dime for it either. That's exactly. the best part. Yeah, for all sure. Right? And here's your Fox 17 forecast. Looks like uh, fireplace weather, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got yourself 52 for a high today. I wish it was higher. Well, tomorrow's Oof. only 50. Well, it's better than next week. I know. I wish I had better news to report, but the lows are down into the freezing mark. And as yes, you noticed over the weekend, uh, below freezing and maybe some lake effect snow rain mix Sunday into Monday. But let's just stick in the 50s today. Pack an umbrella, you might see a scattered shower.